So 4.0 is coming out soon and I just watched this preview live stream. I actually don't know how to pronounce the new region yet. I think it's Fun 10. I'll just wait until someone says it in game. Anyway, obviously I'm not a game developer myself, but I've been thinking about this and I really wanted to make this video, especially with one of the new characters they just announced. And I'll go through a few characters and playstyles I think have been neglected and basically types of characters I would really like to see Genshin release in the next region. So as I'm working on this video, they just announced Linny in the official live stream, but his kit seems like a main DPS. And this just gives me even more reasons why the first thing I think we really need is just overall new pyro supports or characters synergistic with pyro teams. This is because even though we just had Sumeru with a new element and new dendro reactions, in reality, for the most part, most pyro DPSs are still playing the same teams. There are of course a few exceptions like some characters getting niche version teams. But if you compare this to Electro and Hydro characters when Dendro released, basically all the old Electro characters got a bunch of new playstyles. Some characters had new Quicken teams, Hyperloom teams, and some of them even have both. Like Raiden and Shinobu have Quicken teams and Hyperloom teams now. And the same thing goes with Hydro characters. Many of these new Dendro teams aren't necessarily upgrades or buffs, but at the very least, they are side grades or similar in performance, just new fresh playstyles to play. And I'll get into this more detail with my burning and burgeon sections, but the new reactions for pyro characters aren't anywhere near as used as Quicken and Hyper Bloom and Bloom. And to be honest, you can even look at the Dendro Travelers kit or Nahida's kit and they basically de-incentivize you from playing them with Pyro. To be honest, these talents basically say, don't use us with Pyro, use us with Hydro and or Electro. To make things even worse, most Pyro DPSs are still using supports from the 1.0 to 1.6 patches. So not even Inazuma really. And you can say really Pyro teams haven't got things for two years now. The only real addition was Yelan coming out in version 2.7 and either her just replacing Xingqiu in a team like this or playing her alongside Xingqiu in Double Hydro. Now she's obviously a very strong character in these teams but suffice to say it's not the biggest change in these team's playstyles and whilst vaporized teams are slightly different with Yelan, Mono Pyro teams and Melt teams are basically the same as they were before in Azuma. And even when Dia came out, as it turns out, her most popular DPS team still uses the same 1.0 supports too. Overall, I think it's a clear issue that we haven't got any new Pyro support since Bennett and Chung Ling at launch. Which leads me to my first idea, which is that I would like to see a Pyro Shen He. So I've messed around with some ideas on Discord in the past. For example, one idea is a sort of a combination of Shen He and Farazan. And I use Farazan's talent wording here. Basically, this Pyro Shenher type support will buff normal attacks, charge attacks, skill and burst separately. That's one of my ideas. So to get the maximum value from this support, you want a Pyro main DPS on field using their full kit, which I think can be very fun. And I think this distinction will be perfect since it would basically make new teams for basically all Pyro DPSs except for Xiong Ling, since she is normally used off field, then you aren't utilizing the normal and charge attack buffs. So you're not utilizing the new support as much. Unless of course you want to play Xiong Ling on field now. In that case, I would like you to use her, that's fine. Cause now we've completed a completely new play style for Xiong Ling. Then there's also this slightly different idea where again, a new pyro support basically like Shen He or Yun Jin but they have different stat quota for different types of attacks. So the twist with this idea, for example, the elemental skill buff has more uses. You can see I put 22 uses here compared to the other attacks. This could mean characters like Klee, D Luke, Dia, maybe even a DPS Bennett can get a bigger buff from the support than a character like Hu Tao. I think that can be a well-balanced idea. Overall, I think if a new character like this can come in and be better in Bennett in some teams or Xiongling in some teams, 
think that's very balanced because those characters, Bennett and Shangling, have tons of teams already. And we already have characters like Shen He, Kujo Sara for Electro, Gora for Ajiro. I think the game's well due a pyro version of those characters. So that's my idea for generic pyro teams, a pyro Shen He. But another very important thing I would like to see is, is just some characters or artifacts that want to be used with burning. I actually covered a similar topic in a previous video about burning and how they can improve it. If we look through the past year, it's been quite obvious that Hoyaverse basically didn't want you to play burning. There is no characters or teams that actually want to use it damage wise. And even worse, there was never even an abyss where you were incentivized to use it. For example, even with Burgeon, there was a recent abyss where many players ended up using various Burgeon teams for shield breaking and versatility reasons. So you could say even though Hoyaverse clearly favor Hyper Bloom, Bloom and Quicken more than Burgeon teams, that they actually did make an abyss where many players did end up playing Burgeon teams. Even if this was more about the shield breaking and versatility of Burgeon rather than the actual reaction damage, as for my ideas, in my old burning video, I did come up with some. This can be either a new burning character or even a burning artifact set, whatever works. For example, something like this, increasing crit damage if enemies are burning. And it can either be for the whole team or just for the active character. However, Genshin wants to balance it. But basically, it's the reverse of Freeze and the Blizzard Stray artifact set. Instead of that, you could also reduce enemies' pyro resistance. This would be a nice interaction because it increases both the burning damage and the team's raw pyro damage. Or again, similar to my Pyro Shen He idea, your attacks could get extra flat attack bonuses to hits versus a burning enemy. They could also take this burning buff to the next level and make some future abysses in 4.0 where there's more wooden shields and those kinds of shields where you really want to burn them. And then on top of that, there could also be seasonal blessing buffs, which boost your team's damage if you burn enemies. Overall, I think ideas like this can get a lot more people playing burning, which would be very interesting. I don't think they could be that happy that they designed this burning reaction and then no one even played it, even casual players. On a side note, these new party menu animations look really cool. I guess this answers the question to where all the budget went. Okay, so hear me out. Here's my idea for Burgeon. What I would really like to see is not a pyro character that plays in Burgeon, but actually either a hydro or dendro character that is incentivized to be played in Burgeon. And I think that's better for both sides because on one side, characters like Nahida, Yela, and Chincho, they already have hundreds of teams. Taking away their Burgeon teams isn't really a big deal. And then on the other side, I would like to see all pyro characters be able to get in on the Burgeon action. Whereas if they made a pyro character specifically for Burgeon, that would only benefit them and they wouldn't really benefit the rest of the pyro roster. So here's one of my ideas and you guys might not like this, but basically a Burgeon version of Nilu, which you might find funny since Nilu is basically Burgeon but without needing the pyro character. But this character would basically change the Burgeon reaction to work slightly differently. And my idea was maybe you could do Burgeon reactions even on burning enemies. So instead of needing to control your pyro application, and avoid burning and you don't need to worry too much about hydro and dendro application and again this would be quite nice because characters like Nahida and Xingqiu they already have enough teams so those are my pyro related ideas but I did have one more idea which, which I don't really know if the game will ever do but I think the game needs it which is to let more characters have access to grouping so as we know in an action RPG game like this being able to group enemies is very important and so far only animo characters really are able to do this obviously we need to ignore Yelan's slight grouping on a skill and a weapon like viridescent hunt but those things are very minor anyway locking grouping to animo gets even more crazy because since they have access to the vv artifact set which has some of the strongest debuffs in the game and then on top of that a character like kazua has access to some of the best buffs in the game. Basically, it makes Animo very advantaged, and especially with a character like Kazuha, it's how you end up with them used everywhere. So the bad thing with all this is, you have teams like Geo teams and physical teams that don't really use Animo characters. So not only do they end up losing out on some of the strongest supports in the game, but also key action RPG mechanics like grouping. And I think, 
This is one of the reasons why most people find physical and geo teams to be less enjoyable to play. So maybe I would like to see a geo character can give grouping or an electro character can give grouping. But if you really wanted to balance it, maybe they could only have grouping after your team deals a superconduct reaction which obviously that's what you use in physical or if the geo character can only have grouping if your team has three geo characters i think these types of limitations would make it more realistic to come into the game anyway those were a few of my ideas for characters in the new region and let me know if you agree that pyro needs new teams and also if you think it would be balanced to have physical or geo groupers and overall, if you had any other ideas for which types of characters you would like to see, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.